The OnePlus One was the original flagship killer from OnePlus, a smartphone that truly deserved the title and in fact did compel many users to shift from their Samsung, HTC or other high-end flagship product from a major manufacturer to the OnePlus One. The OnePlus One offered more if not an equal share of whatever the competitors offered at a fraction of the price. It also had a unique offering in terms of the sandstone back cover as well as the Cyanogen Mod OS. The device was a big success and the company was quick on its heels to announce a successor to the smartphone, perhaps a bit too quick. The OnePlus 2 was a worthy successor in several ways but did compromise on several aspects which was something the company stated that they would never do. This prevented it from being a true successor and several people still hold on to their OnePlus One as a result. However, with the third generation in the picture now, OnePlus has something that would potentially make users upgrade from whatever device they are using currently. Let's take a look at what has changed and improved from the first two generations and what we get on the OnePlus 3. Let us start with the display, which is arguably the most important element on smartphones these days. The display size remains the same across the three generations and so does the resolution. All three devices have 5.5 inch screens with 1080p resolution. The first two generations used IPS displays with Corning Gorilla Glass 3, while the OnePlus 3 has an AMOLED display with Corning Gorilla Glass 4 for protection. The physical footprint too remains more or less the same due to the similar screen sizes, however the thickness has varied with each variant. The OnePlus 2 is by far the thickest at 9.9mm, while the OnePlus 3 is the slimmest at 7.3mm and the OnePlus 1 sits in between the two at 8.9mm. The OnePlus 2 weighed in at 175 grams, which is the heaviest of the bunch, while the OnePlus 1 and OnePlus 3 weigh in at 162 and 160 grams respectively. Although the OnePlus 1 and OnePlus 2 have now been updated to Marshmallow, they came preloaded with Android 4.4.2 KitKat and Android 5.1 Lollipop respectively. OnePlus 1 came with Cyanogen Mod in the international market, while OnePlus 2 ran on Oxygen OS. Then OnePlus 3 comes preloaded with Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow and runs on Oxygen OS as well. OnePlus has been faithfully using Snapdragon processor since the first generation and despite the Snapdragon 810 chipset having received some negative feedback from users and critics alike, they went ahead and used version 2.1 in their OnePlus 2 smartphone. The issue however was then redirected to the smartphone's lack of quick charging and NFC. The OnePlus One utilized the Snapdragon 801 chipset with Adreno 330 GPU, NFC and 3GB of RAM. The OnePlus 2 used the Snapdragon 810 chipset with Adreno 430 GPU and 4GB of RAM. The OnePlus 3 uses Snapdragon 820 chipset, Adreno 530 GPU and 6GB of RAM. It also brings back NFC functionality and features quick charging in the form of a technology called Dash Charge. Dash Charge compatible chargers can charge your OnePlus 3 from 0 to 60% in 30 minutes. The OnePlus 1 had a micro USB port while the OnePlus 2 and OnePlus 3 feature USB Type-C ports. The OnePlus 2 had the largest battery capacity of 3300mAh while the OnePlus 3 has the smallest of 3000mAh. The OnePlus One sits in the middle with a 3100mAh battery and all three devices feature non-removable batteries, however the back panels on the OnePlus One and OnePlus Two were removable. Since the OnePlus Three has a unibody metal design, the back panel is non-removable. However, they still sell covers for the device and the same materials as the back panels for the OnePlus Two and OnePlus One. Users can get covers in rosewood, sandstone, black apricot, bamboo and Kevlar materials. The top-end variant of all three flagship OnePlus devices have 64GB of built-in non-expandable storage. The OnePlus One had the option to use either a Nano SIM or Micro SIM card with exchangeable SIM trays. The OnePlus Two and the OnePlus Three have dual Nano SIM slots. Camera resolution was the same on the OnePlus One and OnePlus Two at 13 megapixels. However, the OnePlus Two received a larger 1x2.6 inch sensor size compared to the 1.3 inch sensor on the OnePlus One. Aperture was the same on both with f2.0, however the OnePlus 2 got additional help with optical image stabilization and laser autofocus. The OnePlus 3 gets a new 16MP camera with 1x2.8 inch Sony IMX298 sensor with 1.12 micron pixel size and optical image stabilization. The laser autofocus from the OnePlus 2 has been removed and replaced with phase detection autofocus. OnePlus 1 and OnePlus 2 had a 5MP front facing camera with 1080p video recording at 30fps. The camera on the OnePlus 2, however, had a smaller f2.4 aperture compared to the f2.0 aperture of the OnePlus 1. The OnePlus 3 has an updated 8MP Sony IMX179 sensor with f2.0 aperture and 1080p 30fps video recording. OnePlus 2 introduced a new fingerprint sensor in the home button as well, and the OnePlus 3 does the same but features a much faster and more accurate ceramic sensor that is also scratch resistant. 
the OnePlus One had dual speakers at the bottom, while the OnePlus 2 and OnePlus 3 have a single downward facing speaker each. Overall, the OnePlus 3 is a substantial upgrade not just over the OnePlus One, but over the OnePlus 2 as well. To see how it fares in real life, check out our review. Also be sure to check out our other videos of the OnePlus 3. And that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, do hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.